I said we'd hit on the stories ACC fans are buzzing about, so let us get right to the buzz. The hashtag ACC menu items has been trending the last several days. That's because it was announced an ACC restaurant is opening at the Raleigh-Durham Airport. It will have a lot of ACC sports memorabilia, and of course, the menu will be inspired by the schools and the cities they're in. The ACC menu items tweets have been great. Fans having fun with it. Almost as good as, remember, Kelly, the <laughs> ACC Network shows we did a few weeks ago. There were some fun ones right there. there Fedora were. the Explorer is one of my favorites. But let's get through these <laughs> tweets of the ACC menu items, including from Extra Medium Alex. Try the Sydney Low Main. It sounds great. I like that. NC State fans should like that one. And, of course, it gives us some Chinese on this the menu. This is an American cafe, though, so I'm not sure that would fit in. But I've got a great one. Wojo's Floor Slappin' Fajitas. Yeah, All right, not so we've got a, Chinese and now Mexican as we well. Do. I like it. They're going around the world. Now, Jordan tweeted, okay, Cook is going to have the chefs preparing these meals. Um, ACC menus by Quinn Cook. Beautiful. So we have our executive chef hired, Can Quinn Cook, that? at the ACC yeah. restaurant. We still are accepting so. applications for the sous chef. No, no way. I mean, Cook <laughs> is going to have people delivering him meals. And then I, there's Cook another one I found as well, another tweet. This is for... The Alex Linguini, brilliant, from Michael Lanana. I dig that one a lot. Uh, he's from Ukraine. Linguini he's not Italian. And, yeah. So That's you're getting you're, creative there. I, it's on I, the I fence like it. for me. I, like it. it's I, creative, I, I realize he's, he's not Italian, but Alex Len getting his own item on the menu at the ACC restaurant. Also buzzing. The Oscars still are from Sunday night. They're still trending. NFL star and former Miami Hurricane Ed Reed is getting a lot of attention for doing his best to interview Hollywood's biggest stars. Kelly, he was he actually was. on the red carpet at the Oscars. He was on the red carpet for NFL Network, and George Clooney, Stacey Keebler confronted him. They were so excited to see him. But apparently Clooney is a Bengals fan. He said, hey, Reed, you hurt me bad. <laughs> of course, the Ravens January winning run. a Super Bowl. Exactly. Of course. Ed Reed, but look at him there. Tight. And he's got the Ravens Check colors the going, the purple. Square. That is the way to go right now. Looking fly. Mm -hmm. That's all right. But Ed Reed was <laughs> looking good uh, at at Sunday night and was, asking all the right questions, apparently. He was, he was the hit, to be honest with but you. But it wasn't supposed to be him, you said. No. Gronkowski <laughs> Gronk. of the Patriots. I, I don't know. That could, have just been a, that could have been a train wreck having Gronk uh, do that. But imagine? it might have made for some special moments. Also buzzing, <laughs> talk about the NFL, the combine. Still going. We all love watching football, but the fanatics actually are watching a guy run a 40-yard dash. I'll be honest, that's not my thing. The big one everyone's talking about, Manti Teo, left some teams yawning after he ran a 4.82 yes, in the 40. But here's the thing. What if he runs a 4.65? Everyone nods. They say, okay. But he runs a 4.8 and they shake their heads. I mean, the point is... He's going up a 300-pound lineman, trying to break away from him to get the running back who's right behind him. But is a first-rounder is supposed to be a three-down linebacker. Yep. Does he have the speed? That's questionable. I, I don't know whether Manti Teo will be a great NFL linebacker or not. I'm just not sure that the difference between a 4.65 and a 4.8 will be the difference in his career. I don't know. <sighs> I'm not sold on that. He had the character issues. Everyone's wanting to know if he can produce on the field. Now, I will say some ACC stars have put up some great numbers at the Combine. This morning, David Amerson and Brandon McGee, they both ran a 4.38 in the 40. Now, when you're a cornerback, speed matters. Exactly. Speed is the deal, right? Very impressive, Amerson. Amerson. Particularly important with, for Amerson because he really did struggle this year. So exactly. a sub 4 4 40 is great. Other ACC bests include Tommy Bohannon, 36 <laughs> reps on the bench press. That's impressive. Marcus Davis, a ridiculous almost 40 inches on the vertical. Really? Come on. And Rodney Smith, a 20-yard shell time of just over four seconds.